Mutila says this year's poaching statistics are better compared to 2018, where 84 rhinos and 27 elephants were poached. He attributed the poaching reduction to the measures they've put in place. Our colleague in Northeast, they continue to undertake successful operations, intercepting those uh, illegal um, poachers coming from neighboring countries, Zambia and Botswana, with ivory. We have so far three success cases involving those poachers coming from those countries. And we impounded them. So I congratulated them for their hard work and being vigilant together also with the support from community there. So that really demonstrated that uh, poaching is coming to an end in Namibia. Mitila also gave a stern warning to the poachers, saying the law will deal with them if caught. I am warning who would be poachers to be forewarned that attempting to commit wildlife crime does not pay you in Namibia. Dead days are over because we are well equipped and we are ready. There is no way that you get away with this uh, uh, crime at all. Especially during festive season, our law enforcement are all over across the country ready to ensure that we protect our wildlife. So don't make any mistake to find yourself on the other side. You will spend your Christmas in the custod. This year, the ministry also hosted a national conference on human-wildlife conflict management, which brought stakeholders together to seek solutions. Resolutions were adopted at that conference and also approved by cabinet. Cabinet directed that the ministry develop a concrete strategy and action plan to deal and implement those uh, resolutions. This is what we did. The implementation plan has been approved by cabinet. How are we going to implement those uh, uh, resolutions? The implementation plan is now in place as we speak. And we will start or commence with the implementation of that strategy. He says the ministry is looking at ways to come up with insurance scheme for human wildlife conflict incidents. We also engaging with uh, Nasiria so that we have a national functional scheme, insurance scheme, to really uh, address those challenges because these are challenges that are unique and peculiar to Namibia. And therefore, we needed to have a long-term sustainable solution to deal with this uh, unique situation. Since 2019, the Ministry of Environment paid out over 31.7 million Namibia dollars in offsetting losses caused by human-wildlife conflict.